Today, April 23 marks the annual global observance of the United Nations English Language Day. The UN Observance Day is specifically set aside to inculcate respect, promote awareness, history, culture and achievements associated with the language. Traditionally, April 23 is observed as both the birthday and date of death of William Shakespeare. Around 1,500 years ago, only three tribes spoke English, whereas now, around 2 billion people speak the same language globally, out of which 75 countries have bestowed official status to the language. As we celebrate the beauty of English language on this day, we present to you an intellectual treat. Hello everyone, English Language Day is celebrated on 23rd April annually and in the United Nations Observance Day. This day coincides with both the birth and death of William Shakespeare. Every year, this day is celebrated to promote the enjoyment of books and people. Okay, on this occasion today, we have with us a famous children's writer, Miss Kairunissa A with us. We welcome you ma'am. So we are from Red Cold Chapaka Silver Walk, Silver Court, and we have been looking forward to meeting you. And firstly, we heard that uh, your son and wife uh, have baby boys. Yes. <laughs> so, we, uh, so we on behalf of the Chapaka family, congratulate you and your family. Yes, thank you very much. And it is um, especially significant because my son studied in Chapaka. He started oh. his schooling in Chapaka. At that time, there was no like all, it was just uh, the general. Right, shall we begin? Yeah, sure. So, your experience as a student uh, and as a professor in the All Saints uh, College. So, what do you think is the main difference between uh, students or children back then and children of the present? Um, I also taught in school for some time before I went to the Jacobi Angel. So there will be a two year gap of a stint in the bank. And uh, what I find the greatest difference would be the impact of technology. That is what has made a huge difference, I would say. Because when um, the children then uh, were more or less like the children we were, were growing up, in the sense we didn't have that many distractions. Uh, and uh, teaching was mostly, you know, classroom, uh, blackboard, and uh, teaching, and uh, very often one way. But then it depends on the kind of students and the teacher to get uh, children to be involved in what's happening. And um, then, as uh, distractions or entertainment, or um, what we had was books. We could be, we loved books, which I'm very happy about. I'm very really grateful. So that and I think it's something that the present uh, generation is kind of missing out on because of the uh, distractions that uh, the mobile phone or the screen has brought in. And we also used to play a lot. We used to go to the playground, we used to play, we loved to play. In the afternoon, the recess, uh, what we call the recess time, we would just go and play. So it was the same with my students when I was teaching them in school. The whole you know, the and around the same way, and all these people are very good. And finally, the most important thing, you. In spite of all the things you need to do, the book. Right? Because you have you have a lot of other things to engage with that. And you as them and standard students who are to the 12, you have so, uh, what I would say is, it's not that you don't have any time at all, you're not studying 24 7. Because it really calms your mind. You don't need to talk about the words. Calm your mind. And uh, you, will, you will be able to uh, approach your studies better if you do. So, um, don't tell your parents, she said. We must start reading books. Stop studies. You should read. You should also read. Along with studying. Just get a little bit of time. Half an hour a day. One hour a day sometimes. 
something else that you're doing to keep it aside, not something essential like a bath or a meal or something, but something that you uh, wanted to do, you could like take back time right? for me. Make an effort. It's an effort. <laughs> it will become an enjoyment, but the first step is an effort. So I would say no question about the importance of it. It was indeed a privilege to listen to the wise words of a prolific personality. Kyle ma'am took us through her journey from the itch of writing in English and the seed of an idea. She has motivated us to gain a new insight regarding the English language and the need to perpetuate an open mind and willingness to learn. We thank ma'am for donating the crocodile who ate butter chicken for breakfast to our school library. The English language has become a dominant language and a powerful tool for communication throughout the world and across different cultures. The English Language Day is also held in honour of William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, the great writer, coined 422 new words like newfangled, dauntless, lacklustre, multigenous, archvillain, etc. The day was established by the UN Department of Global Communications in 2010. English is one of the two working languages of the UN. In total, there are six official languages of the United Nations. They are English, Arabic, Chinese, French, Spanish and Russian. English language originated in medieval England and has taken its name from the Engels, a West Germanic tribe and today it is the most important and widely spoken language.